It's been an historic election season with total campaign spending reaching more than $100 million in a key Senate race. Kai Sisson reports from Capitol Hill about the midterm money mania. Is all about. That's the truth about Tillis. It makes me want to not vote. It just makes me want to say, just all of you go away. She's 96% for Obama. No one in the country is immune to the constant television ads, yard sign tsunamis, volunteers canvassing neighborhoods, and phone calls pleading for your vote. But in North Carolina, the race for U.S. Senate has been more intense than any other. The campaigns of incumbent Senator Kay Hagan and challenger Tom Tillis have generated a combined $108 million in donor dollars. MapLight is a nonpartisan research organization that studies the power of money in politics. And this new milestone in campaign spending is something they say is cause for concern. The more that candidates are dependent on this money to run for office, the more they have to align with wealthy interest groups and donors, and the less individual voters have a say. The North Carolina Senate election, among others, is overwhelmingly funded by outside groups. They are responsible for three times more than what the candidates are spending, a trend to what the future of elections looks like. As we go forward, our elections are going to cost more and more money. Outside groups are going to have more and more influence and impact, and politicians are going to spend more and more time raising money. Tonight on KP Some local TV stations across the country have sold out of ad time, including Manchester, New Hampshire. Others are close to selling out, even at a nearly 700 percent increase in the price for airtime in many markets. Allison believes focus should be on the candidates themselves. Spend more time with, you know, candidates debate. They give speeches. You know, pay attention to what the candidates are saying. Look at what they do, check out voting records. Which party will have control of the Senate is dependent on only a few candidates, so other elections are also pushing record spending, including in Colorado, where Senator Mark Udall and challenger Cory Gardner have spent $94 million, and in Iowa, Bruce Braley and Joni Ernst are on track to have spent $83 million on their campaigns, and according to recent polling, all of these races are pure toss-ups. In Washington, D.C., for First Business News, I'm Kai Sisson. The biggest fear threat to the stock market is if there are no clear winners in key Senate races. Uncertainty tends to make for a nervous marketplace.